Hey, Baring. Now, maybe you're not actually watching this, or whatever, but this is to, to both you and just my general audience. So I'll probably go back and forth between saying you and then saying he or saying Baring. So, Baring, it is hard to go lower on, on some sort of social platform such as YouTube is. It is hard to go lower than making fun of someone for being compassionate. I can't even begin to wrap my mind around how in the world could you consider that acceptable? What could possibly go through your mind to think that's acceptable? Your fans seem to think it's great. Let's just all laugh at that. When Wooly Bumblebee made her video just, just recently, just earlier tonight, it got me thinking, you know, I, I should have made a video about this right away. Because it really bothered me. See, for those that don't know, Bering went on to a Steve Shives video and went with a, a some sort of sock account and went into some story about being, being someone yeah. trans who just experienced something fucking horrible. Just awful. And Steve replied to it with compassion. And then Bering yeah. shows how Steve reacted and, well, let's just make fun of that. Ah ha ha ha, isn't that so funny? I trolled you. What kind of person does that? Okay, when it comes to something that you can do online that never gives any sort of physical threat of anything, you know, no, no threat of someone coming to your place and hurting you, right? How do you get any lower than making fun of someone for being compassionate? Now, there are people who will say that you're stupid. They'll say, oh, Bering is stupid. Not like, no, Bering isn't stupid. Trump isn't stupid. Even if Trump isn't this grandiose thing that I, as far as uh, plans, you know, that I have in my mind, and even if he just ends up being a puppet uh, to the, the, the extremists that are, he's surrounding himself with, he's still not stupid. So, you know, bearing, if nothing else, you can tell his intelligence through his music. You can tell some, and you can tell someone's thinking patterns through their music. You've got these different things that you can measure. There's, there's the actual complexity of the song mixed with, do you do things that are very common or do you do things that are unusual? Another one is, do you want it to sound perfect? Are you obsessed on it sounding perfect or is it kind of laxed? If you want it to be complex and sound very technical, then that's going to be that sound more like Joe Satriani, but it doesn't matter quite as much whether or not what you're doing has any sort of clichéness to it. But if you like it to sound more organic and humanized, but you still want it to sound unusual, that goes more towards Steve Howe, let's say if we're talking about guitarists. If you're the type of person who wants it to sound very technical and complex, then you are more likely to be someone who enjoys root memorization, to where it's all about what you can memorize. And how much can you impress people with how much you can memorize and spit out the same way that you you learned it? So, if Christy Winters was a virtuoso guitarist, she would be one of the people who would go. You you could constantly. <laughs> There's this certain kind of guitar playing <clears throat> that has that sound, you know. And then you have the 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 Steve the Steve Howe thing, which is it's quite different. It's like, um, let me really express something here. 
You know, I don't want to impress people with my skills. I want to just, I want this feeling, this expression to impress people. Or maybe not to impress, to just make people feel something. So when it comes to bearing, it's kind of like, well, we have a song, you know, let's just write this song. Don't really give it that much thought about what the style is. You just, well, let's just write a song. Most of it is still very, you know, the, the, the chord on most, chords on most of the songs are simple. The timing is, it's only, there's, I think there's, I think he only does mainly 4-4, four, four, but sometimes he does a 6-8. And, but the chords, you know, they're, they're simple chords. You're not going to find any jazz chords there. But sometimes he can still put together a really, you know, a not so common progression. And I think that's cool. But he also just, there's this thing of honesty in his music. These are my feelings. This is just honesty. It's not, it's not really an issue of the exact words that I'm talking about, although the, his lyrics sometimes uh, give some interesting descriptions. And uh, his music is actually very positive. So it's interesting how his, well, maybe not all of his music, but it's interesting how that's where his positivity is. And then when you're on, when you, when you're on YouTube, that's where all of his negativity is. It's interesting. I hope to see more of his music. See more of his music? I hope to hear more of his music. And so, Bering has this thing going on where he's like, whatever it is he wants to, to, to say, and you can hear this through his music, anything he wants to say, he just wants to go in, say what he wants to say, and leave. I bet that Bering does not do very many takes. When, when he's recording in a studio, he does not do very many vocal takes. He's, he's, go in, do your thing, and leave. So I think Bering is just a hint above average in intelligence. I don't think he's stupid. I don't think his intelligence is below average. I think it's just a little bit above average, just a little bit. And he has no moral compass. And that's why he has to rely on the law and really understanding the law in order to understand what is moral. That's where he seems to get his morals, is from the law. I think that's kind of frightening that someone has to rely on that to know what is moral. Sorry, I think that's frightening. But that's how some people are. In a number of discussions that Bering and I have had, everything seemed to boil back down to, what well, the law. It's the law. And I've known others who have that kind of mindset, but I find it kind of disturbing. I, 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 it's, it's scary. That would make for someone whom you never know what they're going to do. You just never really know. Now, that can make someone seem exciting to some others, some people would prefer to be around someone that is sort of this randomity magnet. So his wife or girlfriend is probably uh, is probably totally, totally satisfied with that kind of attitude. It probably works out really well because there's some people who really like that. And maybe his fans are that way too. Maybe his fans just like that element and they don't care how much of a moral compass he's lock, lacking, um, you know, they just like that kind of mindset. And I can understand that draw. It's a draw that I like about him too. I do like that about him. And that's why I think it's such a shame that mindset is accompanied with a lack of a moral compass. Now, at least he does what he can to try to study the laws so he's not going to totally fuck up. And that's a good thing. It's certainly better than someone who has that mindset who doesn't look into the laws. And to me, just that by itself shows a lot of intelligence, too. You know, to at least know that, hey, you, you need to look into those things. So you don't, you don't have some bad legal consequences. So, But yeah, that, that moral compass thing, man. To, to make fun of someone for being compassionate. To make fun of someone for caring about other people. That is... It's hard to go lower than that. I, 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 
I mean, if you were going around making death threats, well, and then that goes back to someone being literally f uh, afraid of something physical. So that's that's still a different thing. So outside of this fear of something physical or actually doing something physical against someone, I can't really see a way to go lower than to make fun of someone for being compassionate, for caring about other people. Blows my mind. And I guess I've said it enough times, so, you know, I've probably repeated myself a lot, but it still just kind of blows my mind. I think Baring can be a fun person, and he has nice sides, but just some things are just out of my reach in how someone could treat someone that way. Look, I am not someone who defends Steve Shives. People can say, well, you're defending him now in this video. Well, I'm not defending this thing Steve does. I am speaking against the things that that Baring is doing. I don't really like Steve that much. I, I, I wish that he wasn't so henpecked. I think that's his biggest problem. That's why he, tre he, he treats people kind of the way he does. That's why he looks at himself as above others because he can't look at his relationship you know it's it won't it'll never be something as equals he always has to sort of cower you know he will always be second in the relationship so you know someone's automatic reaction is going to true be to treat those that are not in that relationship like they're below you it's just an automatic reflex it's not something he would do on purpose it's out of dealing with that kind of situation I, I feel sorry for Steve, actually. So it's hard for me to really be angry with Steve when he does certain things. So, you know, just, just to treat Steve poorly because he's compassionate is sick. That's just sick. Doesn't matter how much you don't like his mindset, that's just sick.